I remember that day when I asked you to be my valentine. That special bond that I felt was going on between us was increasing and I wanted to take that to the next level. I remember the look on your face, the happiness and the excitement of the day we spent together drained from your face like water running down a plug hole. You said no. I loved you. You know I did, so why would you do this to me? Why? I remember when you walked away to the crowd of lovers. I sat on the bench crying. I walked home on my own. No one was at home to comfort me after what you did. I remember waking up and looking at the patterns of my cuts from last night. The blood on the carpet was still there from last night. The writing on my bedroom wall was still there. Why, the writing said, all written in blood. I remember two weeks later passed. I saw you on the street with another man, much younger and better looking than me. The pain just grew and grew. I remember everything we had done together had just been thrown away by you every time we fucked. You told me you loved me and me only. I remember when I walked down that alley and the gang of thugs mug mugged me and killed me. I died thinking of you as the knife plunged into my chest, ending my life with a pain in my heart as the knife dug deeper into me. I could feel the life slipping away. The sheer pain was excruciating. I remember at my funeral, my friends and family were there. My mother was crying, my father was, was comforting her. I looked around, but I couldn't find you anywhere. When I died, it wasn't nice. All I could feel was a searing pain through my body. As if I was on fire, the pain was excruciating. And I only escaped because I did not, I didn't feel complete. I felt I needed something more and I knew what it was. It was revenge. I didn't know how I escaped, but it involved a lot of pain. When I got back to Earth, I felt like going straight home to say hey to everyone and I survived and I realized no one could see me. So I decided to kill the thugs that took my life. I could still move things, but I was invisible. I, it was great fun and I enjoyed it so much. The first one I went for ended up face down on the ground with a cracked skull and no scalp. He never knew what hit him. I knew the same knife he, want, he used to kill me to carve his pretty eyes out of his sockets. But this time, the two other assholes had backed into a corner. I ripped the first one's fingers off with my teeth. After that, I cut his eyes out, holding them in the same hand as the others. I knew what I, I was going to use them for. I was going to make a necklace for you. After a second shuddering in pain on the floor in the third tier, I felt the rush and became even more violent. I cracked his jaw and with the first uppercut and dislodged his vo head from his body and the second and also the, with the others, I cut his eyes out with the same knife and kept the eyes and knife for later use. I knew where I had to go next. I was going to his house, the one who took you from me. I was going to be less forgiving to him. When I first saw him, 
I knew something was wrong. When I first saw him, he knew something was wrong. Ah, he could sense me getting closer. I knocked him out with a single punch to the neck, taking out his airway and suffocating him until he collapsed. After that, I surgically cut a hole in his throat so he could breathe. I wanted this to last as long as possible. He choked up blood and started to wake. On the verge of death, it appeared he could see me. He knew who I was. But, but you're dead, he stuttered. He was so wrong. I cut his eyes out. With him still screaming, then I plunged the knife deep into his stomach. Watching his intestines pour out and the cold carpet floor. At least I think it was cold. It was too drenched in blood for me to tell. It, I felt better after that, but still not complete. I was still missing something. It was you. I needed you. I would never be complete without you. So I set off to your house whistling to myself along the way for I was happy for some re reason I knew nothing could stop me now as I drew closer I felt happier and happier you're surprised to see me you cried and I told you not to you wouldn't stop and I tied you up I got angry I shouted at shouted I cut you I put the necklace I made for you on and you just screamed louder I plunged the murder weapon that was used on me into your eyes and from then on we were tied together in a permanent bond no one could separate us I was happy now I could finally rest <laughs>